Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and this is part three of this vectorizing a clip art. And I'm done as far as I'm concerned, with the exception that I don't like these lines. They didn't trace very well. And this thing is going to be so little, I think it's only like an inch and a quarter, inch and a half drawing anyway. But I thought I'd go ahead and share how you could do that. I've still got my nudge factor set on three inches. We're going to get rid of this black. We're going to take our text and we're going to move it to the left three. We're going to take this text and we're going to move it to the left three. Matter of fact, we can just get rid of this because we, we can put it right back. So now we need to draw some lines. And I'm going to turn these lines blue just for the video. Well, probably how I'd do it anyway. And I'm going to grab... I'm hoping I'm still in the center of the page. Let's see where we are real quick. Control G. Nope, we're not in the center of the page anymore. That's going to cause a little bit of a problem, and I'm going to show you why. So we're going to completely back up. Let's get rid of this logo. Let's group this together. Control G and hit P and put it in the center of the page. Now let's go and ungroup. And tell you what, we'll just get rid of all these right now. Put them way over here. Now, our nudge distance is still set on three inches. So we're going to get rid of our black, which we really don't need. Whoop, I didn't ungroup it. I guess I did. I just didn't grab the black. I'm going to get rid of our text. I don't want the circle. I'm going to go to the left this time. Now I'm going to make these blue just so I can see them. Now I'm going to draw two circles. Holding down my control button. That's too big. Hit the pick tool. Get your circle. Make it a little bit smaller. Hit P. That's pretty much dead on what I want. Now make control D and make that a little bit bigger. P on the keyboard, a little bit bigger. See what I'm doing? I'm making a line. And that's really good. Now, what I'm going to do is zoom in here a little bit and see how that line's off. I'm going to draw a line with my control button just so I'll be flat. Sometimes Corel does that. And we're, our lines are going to be a little bit shorter than the original ones, but you could you could make it dead on. Two point line, and you know what? Be really the safe thing to do here would be to make a duplicate of that line, Control D, and move it over, and then you're at the same height. Same thing on the bottom. This time we're going to make a, a little bit of a angled line, so we're not going to use a Control button. We're going to control D and we're going to move this over, but we need to mirror it. Tell you what, let's back up here. Control D, mirror it using our control button and get it about right there. Now, let's get rid of our blue. Did we like, click on it? No, we got rid of our one of our inner circles. So let's nudge down. Take our other circle and nudge down. Now we can take our blue and delete. We've still got our two lines there. Hit delete. Grab these two and put them right back. Now we're going to delete. Because I've got these lines, you're going to stop. Get your virtual segment delete key and delete that. Delete that. Delete that. Delete that. And you wouldn't really probably have to, but let's delete the end of, ends of these. Because you need something to stop the, the fill from going in. Those lines. You know what? I did just the opposite of what I wanted. <laughs> Somebody stopped me. Let's just back up here. I wanted to keep the other lines.
Okay, let's back up here. I want to delete these lines. Somebody should have said something. That's the lines I want. Let's zoom in here a little bit. But that's what's good about the undo button. You can go back and undo some things you've messed up. And that's one of the main reasons I make copies of things. Because inherently you're going to mess up a little bit. And anyway, now this is what's nice. Grab this and move it over one click. That's what's so nice about the nudge distance, nudge factor. We don't need this black thing anymore. We'll just delete it. Now get your smart fill tool and fill that in. Now you need to fill in the interiors of some of these letters. but it's really easy and um, almost done. Thank you for being patient with me. I think we got a couple more on the established and we're done folks. Now what I would do is select it all and put hit the wrong one. Right click no outline so you don't want to cut this out there it is pretty nice I would actually and I'm not going to do it for the video but I would clean up clean up this hammer very easily done you need to break it apart and just kind of and it doesn't matter it's the top of a hammer but that looks kind of bad and uh, you know maybe make that one a line and uh, Add one here, make it a line, and uh, make this a little flatter. This thing's going to be so little, it really doesn't matter. Anyway, I truly hope that helped a little bit, and thank you for watching.